Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, it's host back with another video, and yes, I'm finally recording um, a video. It's gonna be on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Zombies. Um, if you don't already know, uh, you probably don't know actually. I'm going for Dark Aether. If you don't know what that is, it's this camel right here. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. So, I'm gonna do a let's play series on all the guns I get, um, gold and diamond. So you could really just, you could be watching the journey that I go through, uh, essentially. And I'll also make some tips and tricks. So without further ado, I'm going to play on Firebase C. I'm going to share with you guys all the stuff that I currently know for snipers and the best strategies that I know now. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the game. Alright, uh, one more thing I forgot to mention before we get in the game is the build. For the Pellington or on the iron sights. The stabilizer, 308, the reinforced heavy, because I don't have it maxed out. Once you do, run the Tiger team, 100%. The mountain flashlight for the increased salvage drop rate. The bruiser grip, it just balances everything out. The magazine run the 7 round, so it's only reload quickness taken down. And the circuit ramp. Aim down sight time. What are your orders, Weaver? Alright, now we're in the game. Find Agent right. Maxis. So, any intel you now that we're in the, the game, I usually My team has reached the village. Zombies. Where are you? Where are you? I am in a secure zone uh, nearby. Yeah, pack. I will help you infiltrate. Then you <laughs> spill blood. Let's talk to Ribbon off. My agents are here to recover Agent Maxis. Also, don't forget to get your loose change. You don't already know. You go to the little perk on the machine here. You're prone. You get loose change. So yeah, just a little tip, you know that, and um, I'll see you guys when I get the power on. Uh, before we go turn the power on, thing I actually forgot to mention, you want to stay in spawn for at least around 3 or 4 if you have enough to buy this and go up to the teleporter. Or, you can instantly buy it and then go up to the helipad crash site, whatever you want to call it, and then stay there. Um... Obviously, once you get in, you want to go to the Tombstone Soda. That's what I do. I suppose I, I go to Tombstone here. right here. Tombstone and then machine mark. Makes sense. And then we change. And then I just train here for a bit. To get enough. To get up to like three or four thousand. The and do then that. I buy this door I right spy. here. You scratch my back. I scratch buy this door right here. Door and then Doctor show you the doors once I get enough. So, see them. We'll Alright, we're back. So, now since I have, um... 5,000. You want to buy this door right here. Switch to preference. When you come in the portal, you want to buy the left door. Move on my waypoint. Save money. You want to run up here. Not over there. You want to run up here. And buy this gate. And then it leads you straight into the power. So you got the Aether Reactor going. This is probably the most... Uh, probably the most fast and efficient way you can probably do this. You can other zombies if you want, or you can shoot them if you need those headshots with the snipers. Melee all the zombies. And after you get the reactor on. Right, now that the power is on, I want to go to this door. Destination so once you come in, power's on, right? I'm gonna go to this door on the left, right here. Marking you wanna run through this door? Done. Let's get the other two back online, shall we? I'm very busy today. Run down you these stairs, and then right up the there. Peck. Right by the Lock mystery crate, you wanna run through these stairs and buy that door. So, as you can see, we saved money by not buying this gate. And also, when you're gonna train helipad, it makes it a lot easier to train, because there's not a lot of zombies running through the gates. And then also, a loose change here if you want. And then once I get this reactor on, I'll show you the other door go. Alright, then we got the power on. Two down here. You wanna run through this door over here. Or you can run the one at the top. This door opens so you get the power on, so it's completely free. And by then, by now you should have 550 scrap. Um or yeah, scrap. So you wanna tear up your damage. You wanna tear up your damage before you buy armor, tear up your damage. And then I can spawn since it's way 6. Wait a minute, real quick. Actually, I'm gonna turn on the power. Um, 
Although, uh, something I forgot to mention. Um, if you are going to train with the snipers, run Aether Shot just in case you get wedged. Wanna run Aether Shot or Frenzy Shot? I feel like it's a little more hectic, so just be careful. Throw up the zombies in this one. This one for me is probably the most hardest because I feel like more zombies spawn with the minutes. Alright, let me get the reactor on. Open. Alright. So, depending on when you started, um, if you go on wave 6, I have 4,000 right now. Also, Joe's right here. The English change. Um, so, once you're here, here's one place you can train. You can run up here. Go over here in this corner. Colonel's office or Colonel's office. If you have dead shot, you have this down this hallway down here. On the right of this lamp. You have this hallway down here. You can snipe. And also, you have the window. So if zombies run through this window, they'll run here. All the zombies will come from this direction. If you're camping here, it's just running ring of fire. Um and if it gets too haptic, you can just run up this window right here. Move on my waypoint. Um Get ring of fire, yeah, you can't fear. Higher waves, I wouldn't suggest it with snipers because it gets a little too hectic with all the elites and stuff like that. So, um, there's the first spot, and without further ado, let me show you the next spot. So, right over here, this is the next place I like to train. This is helipad. Um, like I said, see right here, since we didn't buy the gates, these are closed off. So this is gonna come. This is gonna be really effective when you're back paddling, when you're back pedaling, and um, you don't have to worry about zombies coming through there. Um, this is a nice little line of sight here. Um, the windows, don't worry about that. If it does get too haptic, you can run in here, train on in here a little bit. Um, throw some zombies in here if you really want. It's up to you, whatever you would prefer. I'm just trying to help you show you slots you can train. Um. Snipers, they shouldn't be too hard. Um, the only hard part for me is leveling it up. I don't actually have it max level yet. I have 45. So I'm trying to level up the Pelican right now. Um, to get to level 50 so I can get to 20 consecutive kills. Um, so once you have enough, uh, that, that's the other training spot. This right here is spawn. You can train here, it will get a little bit hectic. This is for more like the skilled players I feel like. Um You can train here. It's not bad on the early wave, just watch out for the um later waves where the hellhounds spawn and stuff like that. Because when the hellhounds spawn they you know they explode, they leave fire, and then you can really get uh, okay. Um Don't do that. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> um so, like I was saying, um, over here, this is where the Hellhounds usually spawn, like, a higher wave, you get a little heavier. Yeah, you can already see, it's wave 7, there's quite a bit of zombies spawning here, so, you probably want to be careful. Deadshot would be really nice right here. You're gonna get your collaterals and all that, so you don't have to worry about shooting them multiple times, because half the time you will get a double collat. So, once you have enough for pack a punch too, you want to come here. Just well, normal pack one. You want to get your ammo mod? Oh, I'm just moving out. I don't want to. I don't want to go down. Right, just, give me one second. We just try to grab this insta kill. So you want to buy the ammo mod frost blast. You want to get this tier five. Reason being is because dead wire. It, um, when you're going for critical kills, it doesn't work. It's in counter to critical kills. So when you deadwire, like, a lot of zombies, it will, it will, t it will count towards your normal kills, pack a bunch of kills, but not your critical kills. You're going for critical kills, one frost blast, because as you can see, when you shoot the zombies, it slows them down, and it, and it does 25% extra damage when you shoot them while they're, like, frozen, frost blast, I guess you could say. Alright, so... If you buy Frost Blast and all that, the first pick you want to buy is Deadshot. Um, I know I can't afford it right now, but you want to buy Deadshot when you can afford it, and then tear up your damage again. 
So, that being said, um, those are the, really the tips I have for snipers. I know I probably didn't explain it too well, or it went kind of fast, but, um, I, I tried to explain it the best I can, I'm not too good at explaining things, so, do those things I told you, you should be fine, level up your gun, if you have trouble leveling up your gun, go to Fireteam Dirty Bomb, because it has, I think, double or triple the amount of XP for that, I'm pretty sure, so if you run that with a double XP token, or if you run it with, um, a double XP weekend, like it just was, double XP weekend, I suggest playing zombies, because, well, you level up your gun, and then you also get, um, you also get levels for your normal level, too, so, um, yeah, that's about it. Those are all the tips I have for snipers. Well, the tip that I have for the Tundra and the Pellington. Um, the Barret, I didn't really get to yet. Um, once I get to it, I'll let you know. Once I get to this thing level 50, I'll make a video on it to get the 20 consecutive kills without dying. Definitely keep you um, informed on that. Probably even make that later today. Who knows? But with that being said, um, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh have and uh have a nice guys. <laughs>